Yes, children. I see you before four months before. So, how are you? What are you doing in the vacation? In this pandemic, I once again warn you: don't go to outside and do your work at home. And believe what your parents said to you. Okay, children. Now I have to go through the lesson, tenth class mathematics, paper one, chapter one. Let us see the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Every composite number can be expressed as product of primes. The product of primes factorization is unique apart from the order in which the factors occur. Okay, here I have to do one example to ten. 210 can be factorized as how like see 2 1 not 5s 3 35s 5 sevens so 210 can be factorized as 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 that can be written as 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 5 into 7 so these are the prime factors of 210 5 into 7 dot is nothing but into notation Similarly, we have to go for example two, twenty-seven thousand three hundred. So how like we have to factorize? It? You can do this one in the similar pattern. You get two into two into three into five into five, seven into thirteen. So two into two nothing but two square into three into five square into seven into thirteen. So these are the prime factors of twenty-seven thousand three hundred. Now go through the page number seven. One example three. Consider four power n is a natural number. Check whether there is any value for n for which four power n ends with the digit zero. How like we have to do this problem? Is it end with the digit zero for any natural number or not? We need to check. Children, let us see here. The given natural number four power n number is four power n. If four power n ends with the digit zero, it should be divisible by two and five. Any natural number ends with the digit zero, definitely it is divisible by two as well as five. So four power n should contain the prime factors two and five. If it is divisible by ends with the digit zero. If four power n ends with the digit zero, definitely it is divisible by two and five. So four power n should contain the prime factors two and five. But it is not possible because four power n can be written as two square four power n. That is two power two n. That means it contain only one prime number, but one two. So four power n contain only one prime. Number that is two, five is not present in the factorization. Is it right or not? Once again, four power n should contain the prime factors two and five. Then only it is divisible by ends with the digit zero. If it has the prime factors two and five, definitely that number is ends with the digit zero. But here five is not present because. 4 power n can be written as 2 power 2 n only. There is no 5, so that there is no natural number. There is no natural number n for which 4 power n ends with the digit 0. In the factorization of 4 power n, it contain only one prime number that is 2, but not 5, so that there is no natural number n here for which. Four power n with the digit zero, and goes through the example four. Find the HCF and LCM of twelve and eighteen by prime factorization. This problem already we done in fourth standard two, ninth standard. This problems are one come once again, but we need to learn how the factors are occurred for us. Let us see. Twelve can be written as two into two into three. 18 can be written as 2 into 3 into 3. So HCF of 12 and 18. The here 2 is commonly have for the two numbers. That's why we write 
3 also commonly have that is 3. So, 2 into 3 that is 6. So, the definition of HCF of 12 and 18 is product of smallest powers of each common factors of natural numbers. Here common factors are there. In this, which is the least? 2, 2s are there. Here 2 and 3 is there. But here 2 is common. So, that is why the smallest power 2 and the smallest power of 3 that is 2 into 3, 6. This is the HCF of 12 and 18. Already you known in uh, earlier classes. LCM how like we have to take? Here the prime factors are 2, 2 into 2, 2 square. So, 2 square will come. Here 3 into 3, 3 square, 3 square will come. Why? Because product of greatest powers of each common factors of the numbers is taken as the LCM. Here greatest greatest powers of uh, 2 is uh, 2 square. Here greatest power of 3 is uh, 3 square. 2 square into 3 square is the LCM. Least powers are said to be the HCF. Greatest powers are said to be the LCM. This is the end of our class today. Tomorrow we have to discuss the other problems and you have to follow this one. Already we send this photograph by in your WhatsApp group. All members will write the notes and submit to the school WhatsApp number by children.